Hello, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you today how to solve a 3x3 three three system like these on your TI-36X Pro calculator. Um, it's very easy. The System Solve button is right here above the Tangent button. And so we're going to hit Second Function System and then you want to go down to a 3x3. Three three. I have another video showing you how to do the 2x2s. Two this is a 3x3 three three system so you're going to hit Enter. It looks very different than what your system looks like but this is a matrix you can enter into. The first column is your X values, the second column is your Y values, the third column your Z values, and the fourth column over here is the value that the, the equation equals. So as I put those in, I'm going to make sure I include the negative signs if there is any. So I have negative 2 and I'm just going to hit enter. And this first one comes out to be a really messy number. So I just want to show you how nice it would be to not have to do that by hand. The second value here, because we don't see a number, that's going to be 1. And then the, we have negative 3 and then we have 24. If you hit enter, it's out. I got it automatically going to take you to the next row. Notice on this row we only have two values but it's it's missing the Y. So the Y is 0 but the X is 4 here and then we're just going to hit enter because our 0 is our Y. We don't have any Y's there. We have 5, enter, and then negative 10. And finally we have 1 for the X. We don't see a value there. Our coefficient is 1. We're just entering coefficients here so it's kind of makes it nice. And then our Z was negative 1 third. We always want to make sure that we're entering that negative if there is one. And so I'm going to enter that as negative 1 third and then that equals 12. And just hit enter to get down to solve and enter again and it's going to show you, I told you this was really messy, x is negative 370 over 7. Hit enter again to see the y value and enter again to see the um, z value. If you hit enter again, it's going to let you go back up and re-enter that. But my second one that I wanted to show you is so different that I'm just going to clear all that by clicking, I'm going to press the on button and then the clear twice and that's going to just clear all that out so I can start fresh and I don't accidentally keep something in there that I don't want. So again, second function, my sys solve button, go down with the arrow to the 3x3. Three three. And now I'm going to enter this, 2, enter, 1, enter. This is a negative 1 because we don't see a number but we do have the minus sign there, negative 7, enter. And then we have no x value here, so that one is a 0. And then I'm going to have negative 3. Notice I just can press enter, it assumes zero, so you can put the zero in or just press enter there. And then we have a two for a Z. And finally, we have um, 12, hit enter. And one more time, I have negative for the X, so negative one and two. And I have one third. And then I have negative two. And I'm going to hit enter and enter again. It's going to solve it for me. This one's really nice because it came out nicely where I have x is negative 1, y is negative 2, and z is 3. And remember you can always check your work by plugging in. So if you look at my work down here, I have um, taken the three equations and I plugged in the x value the y value and the z value to make sure that all three of those equations actually do check out. So this is just always nice to remember when you're solving systems to be checking your work. When I plug those numbers in for each of those they come out to equal what they should and that's how I know this is truly a solution to the system. Alright, that's it. Have a fantastic day.